What's going on gamers? Today we're going over how to change the spawn rates in ARK. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell in order to stay updated on all of our future videos. When you're playing ARK, you may see quite a few dinosaurs around, but maybe you feel like me, it's not enough. Maybe you want more because, well, they're just fun to play around with and look at. They're scary for sure, but if you want to add more, you can definitely do it. And today we're going over how to do just that in two different ways. The first option that we're going to go with is changing the overall spawn rates. Now, the first thing you need to do is head into your Apex panel and stop the server with the red stop button. Once it's offline, you're going to go to the left hand side on the other section and you're going to click config files when you find it. In this new page that pops up, you're going to go ahead and select the game user settings.ini. Once here, you're going to try and locate the dino count multiplier setting. If that setting isn't there though, you can just go ahead and add a whole other one. So just go ahead and add a new line by pressing enter and you're going to type in dino count multiplier just like that and what you're going to do is put an equal sign afterward and one is the default and two will double the spawn rate but i kind of want to have a little bit of extra fun so let's make it four you know just for fun go ahead and click the green save button and a pop-up will appear and you're going to normally click restart now, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'll be clicking restart later. Next is changing a specific rate. Now this one is a lot more complicated. Go in the same section of config files and go into game.ini instead. In this new page, you'll notice that there's a lot less to work with here. So you're gonna need to definitely follow these directions to the T. In the first line where you see the white text, you're going to add two different angled brackets one that says pre in between the first one, and then the other that says slash pre in the back half. This is going to set us up for success. Now from here, you're gonna type in all of this mumbo jumbo, and I'm gonna break down what it means. The first section is the dino spawn weight multipliers, and this is the type of function that you want the game to carry out with the script. So the next part will apply to that. That's dino name tag. This is where you'll fill in the specific dinosaur name that you want. Next is spawn weight multiplier, and if you set this to 1.5, then it's 1.5 times the default. Next is override spawn limit percentage, and that is either set to true or false. We want it set to true. And finally, spawn limit percentage is normally set at 1.0, but to make it even more, we want it set at 2.0. Once you've typed out all that junk, you're going to go ahead and hit save again, and then finally select restart now. Once the restart begins, you'll be greeted with the same page, just slightly different, and you'll see config file saved at the top. From here, you're going to select the name of your server at the top and see that your server is in fact in the process of restarting and just get back in the game and it should have worked. Now let's cover a common issue. The main thing is, is if you see no change. Essentially, this is probably a code error. It's likely that there was just a misspelling in the code or a mistyped character. That's no big deal. The thing you wanna do is just go back and type it all in again and double check. The other thing you may worry about is that you're typing in the correct dinosaur name, which can be found at this ARC webpage. So gamers, if you've done everything right, then your game should look a little bit more crowded, especially with sharks if you follow along with this tutorial specifically. I mean, just watch out for them. Anyway, you'll notice that there are a number of dinosaurs to be found now and that they're pretty cool. So get back in the game once you're ready and that'll just about do it for this one, gamers. As always, I hope that you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.